Last week, a young sister of ours in India, Sister Afreen Fatima, 22 years old, student, she spoke out against the rising tide of Islamophobia and especially, especially the BJP's tactic of insulting our Prophet ﷺ in a crude and a vulgar manner. A, th a thing that, wallahi, the average Muslim and even non-Muslim will be disgusted and angry to hear. And the BJP's representative said this live on air multiple times. Our sister, Afreen, stood up and gave a lecture where she rallied against this. And the crowds came and things happened. The government got involved, not just arrested her and her siblings, arrested her elderly parents, diabetic father, took them to jail. Within a few days, the high court of UP, the high court in the city of Allahabad, the, the Uttar Pradesh province, ruled on some weird technicality that her house had been built illegally. Subhanallah, this isn't a coincidence. There is no illegal house being built here. So they said the house should be demolished. And so the parents were brought from jail and they were brought, caused to witness the bulldozers come and demolish their house to the ground. This happened just a few days ago. The BBC has the view the footage and the video footage is all online brothers and sisters the bar of Islamophobia is being raised by this government you will say what's new here people are being killed there all the time we say what is new is that the government the high court Uttar Pradesh which is a mainstream province the city of Allahabad which is one of the major cities of India they have now put a stamp an official stamp on complete Islamophobia. This isn't some random mob. This isn't some people on the streets doing something. No, this is the government making a message, sending a message to all the Muslim community. You dare speak out against us. You dare defend the honor of your prophet. You dare speak out against the BJP. We will destroy your house and we'll do it officially right in front of your eyes. Wallahi, brothers and sisters, this young sister, 22-year-old young lady, she has more guts and courage than so many other men, including ourselves, we ask Allah's forgiveness. The courage that she had to take on this vicious and vile government and to continue doing what she is doing in the space of all of this persecution. Honestly, it puts me and it should put many of us to shame. We seek Allah's refuge. The point though, brothers and sisters, is that this type of tactic is literally straight out of genocide textbook. I keep on saying this over and over again. Study history, learn from history. How did the Nazis do what they did? They didn't just start ex uh, killing 6 million people or 10 million people overnight. It didn't happen overnight. No, it was a program that took them 15 years. It took them more than a decade. Systematic demonization, constantly harassing a minority. In the Nazi Germany case, it was the Jewish people of Germany. The first thing they did is they made a barrier between the Jewish people and the broader society. They said, you people are foreign. You people are occupiers. You people are destroying our country. And that rhetoric continued for more than a decade decade. BJP has done this for much more than a decade. They have demonized us as Muslims. They've demonized our religion. And now they are demonizing our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. For how long are we going to remain silent? Even the honor of our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is being literally made fun of in public on air. How long can we remain silent at this? And so now they are doing this. And then if there is any response, the next tactic of the Nazis was what? After the rhetoric, now you pass legislation. Jewish shops have a special mark on them. Jewish houses have a special mark. Some of them were demolished. Jewish people were socially boycotted, ostracized, don't buy and sell from them. This is already happening in the BJP India. And literally, just like Nazi Germany, where the courts are going to back it up, the courts are going to support this. Yes, it is legal for us to discriminate against Jewish people. Now we are seeing the BJP come under this road as well. If we do not stop the BJP, if we do not get involved now, the next step after this is nothing but genocide. They have already brought the courts in. They already have the BJP's official backing. The high court, the supreme courts of the province are now getting involved. How long are we going to wait? 